Thank you all so much. I am so filled with gratitude. Uh, you know, somebody must have told y'all that I'm, I'm ticklish because I'm, I'm just tickled to be here. And <laughs> so, you know, and greetings from Culver City, California. All right. The Agape Spiritual Center. And, and I'm just sending my love from Ricky and from Reverend Michael. And uh, just, just it's so beautiful to go all over the country and just to see how love is the order of the day. It's just spreading everywhere. And in centers just like this and as well as Agape and all over, our reach is, is so powerful. And I really celebrate the work that is being done here, especially as we send that love all over the world, as well as in our communities. That is the work of a true spiritual warrior. You know, we are here to do something amazing with our hearts and with our loving. And so thank you all. Thank you for saying yes. And thank you for being here. And thank you for this amazing warm welcome. I am I'm just truly delighted. You know, um, there is there's this song I'm sure many of you know. Everything must change nothing stays the same everything in time all things must change there are not many things in life we can be sure of except rain Falls from the clouds, and the sun lights up the sky, and hummingbirds do fly. Everything must change. You know, there's something within us that knows that we're aware and I think we get this that no matter what there is a flow there is an energy there's a divine expression that is constantly moving it is constantly becoming more of itself there will be birth there will be be death there will be transformation and and change and even though we're aware of this truth, of this fact. Even though this is, this is a, a known thing, sometimes there is a space within us that when change is afoot, it, it doesn't always warmly embrace it. <laughs> it, it. It may not necessarily feel so excited and comfortable about change because it's really comfortable right where we are. And what I've discovered is that in the area of our transformation that sometimes there is this seriousness about it. It's like, I've got to transform, I've got to be more, I've got to make it happen. <laughs> And, and what I've recognized is, and I, I, I feel y'all are right there as well, but what I've recognized is, is there is a way for us to enter into this thing known as transformation, this thing known as going from our glory to our greater glory, from a place of great joy, from a place of great ease. And this brings us to a topic that it's flowing in for the day, which is the, the fundamentals of transformation. So it is the fun, 
the mentals of the transformation, there is a fun, there is a joy, there is a, a playfulness, there's an elegance that is here for us. And it, is, it comes forward in an even greater way when we approach these things, these things that we know, these tools, but from a place of that, that effervescence, that lightness, that joyfulness. So we're, we're just going to play a little bit today and look into what I'm calling the fundamentalist, okay? <laughs> so there's a fundamentalist that we all can create for ourselves where we can put together things that we can remember, that we can, can keep in our mind's eye to make sure that we are in that space of openness and availability to this presence. For there is this presence, this one divine essence, this one substance, this glory, this absolute, it is the absolute. And, you know, when, when we think about or approach things from a space of, I know for myself, sometimes if there's an anxiousness that's going on or some stress that, that, that's happening because there's, there's lots that's, that's expanding in my life. And there, there's, there's been so much that's been going on, especially lately. And, and it's great. It's amazing. It's so wonderful because I said, yes, I said, I said, spirit, show me, show me something more. What, what am I really here to do? It was that, that very question, which is, it's a constant thing. And, um, and I, and I took a leap of faith and I stepped out, I stepped up. And um, even, even in my, my role at Agape and on staff, and I said, you know, something is calling me um, and I'm going to listen. And so these, these some wonderful things have been, been going on, some expansion. Um, a week and a half ago or so, I had this great honor of singing for the Dalai Lama's 80th birthday celebration, which was in Irvine, California. And it was just, it was just amazing to, to open up to that, you know. But there was this part of me that's like, oh my God, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, just hold on a second. Okay, I'm, I'm just not so sure about this. <laughs> And, you know, I remember I woke up that in the morning and was thinking from a space of, okay, well, you know, I'm meditating and I'm thinking, wow, what can I, I, I hope that all goes well and I hope that these, that, that, that these songs are received and, and all. And, and I got this shift in that moment and I thought to myself, you know, I am not here so much to get something from, from individuals and, oh, well, what's the feedback and what do you say? You know, let this just be a moment when I can give as much love as possible. That is my job today. That is it. From the crew members to security to my background singers to, to every single person that I meet, this is what I'm here to do today. And so all of the rest of that is, it's just gonna be what it's gonna be and it's not really my business. But I'm just gonna open up to be a space of love and that's what I'm gonna do. And when I made that switch in my mind, boy, the day became really fun. It just became such a blessing to glide through and to make it be about a smile that I could share or, or, or a heart that I can touch somehow. And I just encourage on your fundamentalist that top of the list is what can love, what, what does love want to do through me today? What can I do to just be a channel, an open space to let it pour out, to let it pour out? You know, one of the things on this fundamentalist is that we get to name a thing a thing, okay? And so it's name a thing a thing slash 
laugh in the face of adversity. Okay. I, you know, it's, it's so awesome. We have these wonderful systems, our circulatory system and our nervous system and, and you know, all these wonderful systems in our body. And we, we have this ability to, we can laugh at any moment, you know. It's not just when something's funny. We can just bring it on up, you know. And, um, and so it's really a choice for us to look at a situation and then decide, I'm laughing in the face of that, okay. I, I had this present that showed up in the mail one day um, as I was thinking about some of these things. This present came and, um, and it was a ticket. So, <laughs> so this, this ticket shows up and I, and I see who it's from and, and it, somebody was in my car driving in the carpool lane you know, or driving in the express lane, just doing that, and, I'm, and then I get the ticket. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> so I, I, was, <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but, you know, I got this ticket, and, 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 and I look at it, and I thought to myself, oh, oh, and I really started to feel pretty, pretty bad, like, oh, this is the last thing I need right now, and, oh, how could this happen, and, Whoever did this was just not the brightest, and what was going on? It didn't matter. We were running a little late to that gig. Hey, and and I really could feel this sense of of self, ugh, you know, just you know when you do the beat beating up on yourself kind of thing. And I don't know if anybody you know is what I'm talking about, but <laughs> <laughs> it just happens every once in a while. And and I caught myself because I was thinking about this very thing. And I said, you know, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to laugh at this. You know, I said, you know what? I got a ticket. Oh, this is great. This is hilarious. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> this must mean some incredible abundance is coming to me because, I, you know, it's going out. So this is fantastic. Oh, I love it. Woo! Yeah, I got a ticket. I set it down, and I was like, all right, woo! And it really worked. <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> and I just went on about my day, and it's like, you know, I'm just going to be in the joy. This is a, It's all right. And what was incredible is, as, as I shifted the energy off of that, um, a, a few, several days later, I, I said, well, let me open this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me open it. And I, and I was like, remember, remember, Marianne. It's like, let me open it. Oh, it's going to be great. And, <laughs> and I, I opened it, and, and it turned out that it was actually just, um, you know, you can, you can pay later to go through s these certain lanes. Because Siri made me do it, <laughs> you know. Just saying, Siri told me to go in that. I mean, the person who was driving my car. Um, and, but, but so really, it, it ended up just being like a, a $20 thing with an added 60 cents for the, for the toll. And, and I thought it was going to be hundreds of dollars. And so it was like this amazing blessing when I just I said, oh, that's a no thing, you know, that that came through in the end. So it, it was just a beautiful moment to experience the power of laughing in the face of adversity and calling something what we want because we have that power as we've talked about, as we've sung about, as we've stood in, as we've reminded one, us, one another about, as we look into one another's eyes and see what is real about each of us. We have that power. The word that flows out from us is what has dominion. We get to say what something is. And it is real. So never underestimate the power that we are walking with in every single moment. And if ever there is something that feels a little, a little interesting or... You, it's, it's beautiful to stand and to have the, have the feeling, but just know that we have the power 
to call it what we want to call it. That's what we get to do, to name a thing a thing and laugh in, that, in the face of that adversity. It's really beautiful, and, and, and it works. Um, another thing on, on our fundamentalist, and you can make your own, you know, because we have our to-do lists, and that's a beautiful thing, but on this fundamentalist for our transformation, and you all talked about it, it is so much fun to be of service, to show up and do things for others it will shift the entire experience that one may be going through. I know for myself, there might be some moments when being in a little bit of a, you know, a, a little bit of a funk, and and a lot of the times that can occur when I'm really focused on Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> and Marianne is great. She's wonderful. You know, and, 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 and is about a lot of different things and really committed to making a difference on the planet and, and doing some beautiful things in the world. And Marianne is not always so sure how to do that. And so sometimes I get a little scared and get focused very much on what am I going to do. <laughs> and... Yet, in those moments when I might go to the prayer ministry and say, you know, I'm just going to take, take myself to the prayer ministry. I want to work on the phones for a little while. And I'm praying for others. And I'm knowing their truth. And speaking the word. Oh, my God. You know, acts of service that can take the focus out of this one individual and place the attention on, on others, which is really placing the attention on the one because we are connected, we are one. And so w when I am serving another, I'm really serving myself as well. And it's this beautiful exchange that gets to happen but it can only happen if I open up and let it. And it is that hand that gives that then is able to be open to receive. But when it is focused on the small self, there's not a lot of space. And that is, and that is so much of what it's really about. Because the anxiousness and the stress and the, the worry and the, the perhaps the doubt and fear, we get all contracted. And this kind of an energetic is not really allowing for that transformation that is happening anyway. There is an energy of love that is lifting us all the time. There is that life force that moves through everything that is. And it is when we open, just like the flower that turns to the sun and opens and is available, it shines its beauty. This is one of availability to be lifted, to be carried. You know, I, um, I was in Hawaii a couple of months ago and <laughs> I was in Hawaii. It was <laughs> really cool. <laughs> it's been a, just a beautiful, beautiful year. Um, and I was there with some, with, with some girlfriends, some dear friends from, from high school, and we went and we were celebrating one another. And so we went snorkeling. Um, and I was thinking, about, and I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada. So... Um, so in Las Vegas, it's like you're always looking for a pool. And you, you, know, you guys might know what I'm talking about being here, right? So like people would move into the neighborhood and we'd be like, they have a pool. Hi! How's it going? We want to be your friend. Um, you know, but, but so I was really actually a pretty good swimmer. And because and, we were always getting wet. It was great. And so that was a minute ago. 
um, but then, so there I was in Hawaii, and, and we were out, and we we're snorkeling, and so my friends are off the boat, and they're out there, and, and they're like, come on, come on, and, and so I, I've got my mask on, I've got my little flippers, and, and, and I get in the water, it's like, oh, it's a little cold, this is, you know, it's Hawaii, it's really not, not cold, <laughs> so just get, get in, and so I, so I said, okay, all right, just dive in, get on in there. So I, I get in, and I'm thinking, I'm, 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 a, I'm a great swimmer. So I'm swimming. And then I got a little tired. And I was thinking, oh, I'm tired. I, I think I just want to stand up. Well, you, you can't. <laughs> there, there, there's, there's, there's no place to stand up. And, and, and we're in this nice little coral reef area, and they have told us, don't touch anything. You can't, you know, everything needs to remain in, in a space of its, of its consistency. And so, and so, um, but I started to get a little concerned because, because I'm, I'm tired and, and I want to stand, I want to rest. And, uh, and, and so I'm going towards the side and they're like, don't touch that, you can't touch that. And, and I'm like, oh, and I started to panic a little. And, and, and I was like, I'm going to drown out here. This is, this is bad. So my, <laughs> my so a friend of mine s says, well, do you want me to go back and get you a floaty? I'm like, yes, I want a floaty. <laughs> so she goes and so she, and she comes back. She just swims right on over there. And go, but then she comes back and she's got this inner tube and I, this huge inner tube. So I, and I get in this inner tube and I, and I'm like, ah, okay, now, now I'm feeling okay. Um, but it was really scary for for a minute there. Um, but now we're just enjoying and we're we're snorkeling. But what I realize is that all the while, as I was going through a bit of a panic, that there was this thing known as the law of buoyancy. <laughs> That, that really, it had me all the time, you know, but it was, it was the panic, and it was the stress, and it was the flailing, and the, 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 the gnashing of teeth, and whatever, <laughs> that, that was making me sink, that was taking away my, my true power. I wasn't aware of it. I wasn't thinking about it. I was focused on this other thing. But had I relaxed, had I just surrendered and let go and taken a breath, the power of that breath, because when your air is filling your lungs, you naturally are able to float. So just like the law of buoyancy, that very thing that would take me right to the top, and allow me to just rest and relax and be carried on the water. In that same way, this law of life, this law of a love is lifting us. It's carrying us. It's easy. It is graceful when we let go, when we surrender, when we put down the things that may have our attention, that feel so stressful and so difficult, so hard, so big. But whatever it is, it cannot be bigger than the presence of God, than the presence of love that's got your back. That no matter whether we know it or not, it is lifting us in every moment, every moment moment. And sometimes I know the mind may think, okay, well, I know spirit is over here in, in these areas, but, but this, this is big. This is hard. And I got to get in there and really make it happen. And I'm going to call upon the spirit in a second. Hold on a second. But because I, this, it, I'm going to do this. <laughs> even that, even that thing, if, the, if your mind went to a space of, yeah, but you don't know the troubles I've seen, you know, <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. 
It's time to lay down those old songs, you know, and sing a new song like y'all are doing up in here, you know, and, and let that be the soundtrack of our minds all the time. And that leads me to the next thing on our fundamental list. If you, something's got you, break out into some spontaneous dance and listen to some music, all right? Now, you know the power of it. You felt it right in here, Melanie. Rocking the house up in here. You know, there is nothing like it. This universal language that speaks to us all. And a little spontaneous dance. You know, you're in the grocery store. You're just kind of doing your thing. Just break out. You know, <laughs> life is good. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, because it frees up the energy. We're really here to move. We are here to celebrate the spirit. And we have these arms, we have these feet, we have these bodies, these amazing instruments to feel and to sense and to take in all of this grandeur and this beauty around us, to hold one another, to, 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 to touch and just to utilize all of the senses that we know of and those that we don't that we can take in this experience of life in a powerful way. But we got to dive in, just like you got to get into the water. We got to dive in deep, go all the way. And don't worry about what somebody might be saying or thinking. If It's like, who is that person by the, the, the cookie section that's just having a party over there? It's like, that's me. That's me. I'm willing to bring celebration to this life because that's really what we're here for. And that's what it is to shine our light. That is what it is to, to make a difference for someone else and give them permission to do that as well. Fully be yourself. Express whatever it is that you want to do. And the music, and there's all these artists that are on your wall, and, and, and everything that's happening all around us. When you stick on those kinds of songs and, and, and the musicality, it helps us to remember this truth. And that's really what we're doing here, is we come together in communities like this so that we can remind one another and celebrate what it is that we know already. We know this stuff, but it's just a matter of having some fun along the way as we are, are in this thing called life, as we allow for this thing known as transformation that is going to happen anyway. So I am all about this movement that I call the Love's Conspiracy Movement. You can go to lovesconspiracy.com. Because there, this, this, this presence that I have cultivated a relationship with and that all of us, I invite to continue as we center in the mornings, as we take time throughout our day to be still and know this presence of the all good, the divine. When I speak of love, it is so much deeper, so much richer than just a, oh, I love this person, and oh, you know, there's the different types of love that they speak of. There, there is the love of, of another in, what are the different types of love there? There's agape love is the brotherly love, the unconditional love. There's phile and eros. And so we have the love of, of humanity. And we have, have the love of one another, like a romantic love. And God, love is great all around. But when I speak of that love, I'm really speaking of the spirit, the presence. And I, as I have cultivated my relationship, it just, just feels like love all throughout, just in every cell of the body, how deeply it has loved us into existence. How much 
each one matters. Every single soul here for a reason, here for a purpose, and here because God loved itself so much, so much, that it said, I will create Jeff. I will bring forth Susie, and I will break the mold. There will be no one else like you. No one. No one. So we've got something to do. We have something to share. And if ever there is a belief or a thought that oh, uh, I don't, I don't really matter. Uh, I shouldn't do this. This is too much. If there's a divine idea that came through you, you better believe that it has a space and a place and a reason. Because there's no one other. You're the one. We are the one. We are the one that the world is waiting for. The second coming, it's you. <laughs> Tag, you're it. So we get to embrace all of this and embrace it with joy. And if we continue adding on our fundamentalist and we're not quite sure what to do, spend a little time with children. Be ye like a little child and enter into those gates of heaven. Oh, children will bring you right back into the present moment. So whether you have children, nieces, nephews, volunteer somewhere, spend a little time in the children's church, whatever it may be, the kids, they'll remind you. So I have that on my fundamental list because it's just a great joy to share, if anything, just to share our love with them as they show us the way to be to truly be, to just be. Ha! Huh. So, I invite you all to create your own fundamental list and to continue to add to it as you find new things that allow you to walk with a little more grace, to hop and be with a lightness in your step because what we're here doing and what we are here to do is to lighten up for God's sake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so some, those are some fundamentals of transformation. Are you all willing? Are y'all willing to embrace them? Yes. yes. Are you willing to do them? Yes. Willing to be them? Yes. Then the party is on. <laughs> so I just give great thanks and, and, Let's just turn within for a moment. <laughs> As we take this time in great gratitude. Deep thanksgiving for the presence, for the Holy Spirit that is in all as all. So grateful for our awareness of it of its brilliance, of its magnificence, of its glory that is shining forth in everything that is. It is right here in this moment. It is that power, that activity that has brought us together this day, this morning, as we celebrate the divine. For there's only one, one life, one substance, one source, moving through everything that is. I am so grateful to know that that is the very life of my life, that I am here fully orbed in God, expressing that divinity in all that I do. I'm available in instrumentality for the Most High. 
and to know that this is the truth for each and every soul that is here for all those who are listening I give great thanks and celebration of the presence that is expressing its uniqueness its power oh this true celebration of life as that that we are and so I just claim in this very moment that there is a joyfulness that is unleashed in this time, that we walk knowing that there is that that is supporting us in every moment, lifting and carrying us, and how good it is to surrender, to let go, to leave at the altar anything, any fears, any worries, to just set it down and to trust, to expand our trusting, to absolutely know that this presence is got our back and so how grateful I am calling forth the healings this day uh, a, a, a true lifting and into a new vibration into a whole new dimension of being where there is peace that is the order of the day where there is a grace that goes before us I know that there is that that is preparing the way and that deep within our soul there is a calling there is a purpose there is a reason for our being here and so in this very moment I know it is activated powerfully that there is divine guidance showing us the way that is lifting us in a space of playfulness and joy as we are available to that that is seeking to express itself right here and right now I know that we are supported I know indeed that there is a life of plenty for we have everything we need everything all we need do is take a step. Oh, and the spirit rushes to us. It is truly all one. And so I am grateful. I'm so grateful for this upliftment. I am thankful for the depth that is within our hearts that is pouring out unto this world right here and now as we serve one another, as we delight in the spirit, as we remember the grace and the glory that is the true nature of our being, and we make this commitment to live our lives out loud. Oh, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. The spirit of God moving from glory to greater glory. how good it is to bask in this energy of love. And so from this place of sweet surrender, I know that all things are conspiring for our good and all is well. And so I lovingly allow it to be and I say, and so it is. Amen. Hmm. And so I just invite the choir back. This is a song that um, I was hearing, and I really, I almost, I just didn't want to write it. I thought, oh. <laughs> there's it's a simplicity to it. And, but I just let myself get out of the way and, and write it. And I'm called to just share that with you this morning as well. Everything is working together for my good. Everything is working together for my good. Everything is coming together constantly to reveal the spirit for my eyes to 
to see Life's divine expression is rising up in you. See your precious vision that calls and answers to feel that life is flowing together constantly to unveil the spirit for our eyes to see the glory can you see the glory it's everywhere oh the sweet glory of God embrace your glory there's an ever present glory The glory of God. All of life is moving, supporting our best dreams. Gentle inspiration for sharing love supreme. All of life is dancing with grace and dignity. To display the presence for this world to see. Oh, just feel the glory. It's in your soul. There's a radiant glory of God. Open up to your glory. A brilliant glory. So, and I'm inviting you all to, to come back this evening. Yeah, we have an amazing, is. wonderful concert <laughs> planned, and we're just going to celebrate and truly have some fun. Just uh, 6 o'clock. Showing up and shining that presence. All right, so um, it would just be my joy to see you all and to have you there. 
And feel free to, to support the Love's Conspiracy movement just by continuing to ask yourself, what would love have me do today? And how can I do it with great joy? All right? So I, I just open that and in, invite you to that. So yeah, thank you all thank again. Marion has a table out here with her CDs and stuff. Go check it out, y'all. Bless all the paths of people to be free.